Hi, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Tonight is December 31st, 2020. Yes, it's New Year's Eve, the last night of 2020. This is our rough scaled python, Sangral. It's a Morelia Carinata, and he is our only rough scaled python. He came from Ralph Polinsky, and I have just moved him into a new habitat. This is a two foot by two foot by two foot Zen habitat cube. And I have a substrate shield inserted in here at the bottom so that I could give him some moist substrate. And then on half of the top, I have a humidity shield to hold in moisture. And the other half is going to have his lamps and heat. And all I've done tonight so far is I just took his entire habitat that he's already living in, which is a 12 by 12 by 18 terrarium. And I just took the lid off of it and I put the whole thing in his new habitat and I have the door open right now. He's hungry, he thinks I'm gonna feed him, so I am going to feed him. And I don't know if you can see, but he's already coming out the door of his old habitat here. So I'm going to show him his target. And even with all the changes, see if he wants to engage in a training session which it looks like he does. I'm just so impressed with how intelligent this species is. If he is any example, he came all the way to the substrate shield and then he stopped. And I'm, I'm not unhappy with that at all because the, again, he's only been in here a total of about five minutes. It's brand new for him. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce that behavior I have his setup really simple right now. I did give him a log in the front, a big, huge water dish that he can also get underneath, and then a corner hide. However, his enclosure has not changed. The original enclosure that he was living in is just as it was. I literally just picked the whole thing up with everything inside it, including him, and put it inside this new enclosure. And I just took the lid off the top so he can climb out the top and I opened the door. So he can choose to remain in his old habitat as much as he wants, but as you can see, he's been in here about 15 minutes now, and he's already out, and he's eaten. He already did a target training session and took a meal, and now he's exploring. And this is a net that I hung at the top. One, because he loves to climb and be up high, and for the second reason, until I remove his old habitat, this net acts to keep the door open. So the door will not shut on him as long as this net's hanging here. And he's already exploring his habitat. He's got a basking light up top and a ceramic heat emitter. And I have a temperature probe up there under those. And then I just need to add his UVB light bar I have it timed with the natural photo periods of our area here in Colorado. So when the sun comes up, his UV will come on and his basking lamp will come on. I'm going to turn that off here. It's nighttime and I am going to turn that off in a few minutes, but I just have it on so that you can see his habitat so that I could see how he's behaving in his new habitat. And overall, he's not a fearful animal. He has not been that way since he arrived. He's always been curious and outgoing and he loves to explore. He does explore outside of his habitat in this room already so I didn't think it would be a big deal to move him to a larger habitat but I do think it helps to just put his old habitat inside the new one so that it's his choice how much time he spends in the new space or not and then eventually as he acclimates to everything and as he grows, I will take that old habitat out and I will decorate up his cube with all of his things and with more perching and shelves in the main space.